Hi DTS, my name is Sarah Jane Vanstone and I'm here to tell you about my Duke of Edinburgh Award experience. I signed up because I really liked the idea of going on this big adventure, walking and camping without the interference of any adults. And this was before um, I knew about all the other, other benefits that I was going to gain by getting stuck in and, and doing it. I was actually going to stop at my silver because I thought that gold was too big a challenge. It was out of my reach and it was going to be way too difficult for me. But then once I received my silver award, I found myself reflecting on the experience and remembering how every time I felt afraid, but then found the courage to put that fear to one side, that great things were always on the other side. Now, for example, for my silver, I did trampolining for my physical skill, my phys on my physical section. And I was afraid to go to this trampolining club that I signed up for because I thought that the people there were going to laugh at me because I was really inexperienced. There are so many funny, ex <laughs> funny experiences, um, but one which sticks in my mind, Katie, she, one of the girls in the team, she really suffered with blisters and she would always wear compies, especially on her baby toe. <laughs> and it was so well stuck to her skin that when she started to peel it off, to all of us, it looked as if she was taking off her toe. And it's gruesome, <laughs> but it was really funny at the same time. You, you may not find it funny, but I did. <laughs> Look. Three top tips that I would suggest you take on board if you're going to start the Duke of Edinburgh's Award. Uh, number one would be write up your diary on the day that you've done something. You want your you want your writing to be as vibrant as possible. You want to remember the small details, and you can't do that if a month down the line you're trying to you're sitting there and you're trying to remember what you did on the very first day that you signed up to the boxing club or the gardening club or the knitting club or the formula one driving club i don't know anything it's far better if you do it on the day so that you remember as much as possible you just you don't want the fuss of having to do a big chunk of writing right at the very end because that isn't fun it just isn't fun and you want the experience to be as enjoyable as possible. So number two, I would suggest that 
you get together as a group outside of school. Uh, the girls and I, we would meet up most weekends and I really feel that by doing this, we were so much more united because we were in it together completely. We knew exactly what each other were taking and how we were all feeling. Tip number three is to try something completely new. Now, the DV, it's there to prove to individuals like you, if you want to have a go, that you are great. You are super, that you can take on so many different challenges, learn so many different physical skills, so many creative skills. It's up to you. And if, if you choose to do something that you're already very familiar with, then you're not going to get that chance to prove to yourself that you are so capable of doing things which you're not familiar with. We did, but I would say, <laughs> do not do. Um, the first thing is putting a plastic bag over the end of your sleeping bag to keep out water if your tent starts to leak. Um, if you do this, the warm air which you're breathing out inside of your tent collects inside the plastic bag and it condenses and then it's <laughs> it, it soaks the end of your sleeping bag. So I would say don't do that. There are some Dartmoor ponies trying to eat the camera, which is why I've moved somewhere different. I'm not sure if you can tell, but I'm going to finish up by saying, if you're going to sign up to the Duke of Edinburgh's award, you will not regret it. You will have the most fantastic experience, so rewarding. And the people who you share the experience with will most likely be your friends for the rest of your life. And that is so special. So go on, give it a go if you think it's for you.